A Bolivian naval vessel proudly flies its colors as it sets off on patrol. Not in the ocean, but in, yes, a lake. At more than 4,000 meters above sea level, Lake Titicaca is the world's highest navigable lake. Having its navy relegated to this body of water is a humiliation endured by Bolivia since 1879 when it lost its coastline to neighboring Chile in the War of the Pacific. At the naval base, sailors learn the basics so they'll be ready for the day when their landlocked country recovers a corridor to the Pacific. In the capital, La Paz, we visit a school where a patriotism class is underway. When the Chileans arrived in Antofagasta, they told him to surrender. And what did our hero answer? Let your grandmother surrender, answers this boy. As you can see from a very early age, these children are taught that Chile took away Bolivia's rightful access to the sea. And when they graduate, the boys at least will have to do the obligatory military service. And there they will march around Lake Titicaca. And this is what they will chant. I want to bathe in the blood of Chileans. I want to bathe to drown my sorrow. Such deeply rooted anger and sorrow explains why Bolivians see this as a wound that refuses to heal. After decades of frustrated attempts to negotiate a sovereign corridor to the Pacific, current President Evo Morales has taken Chile to the International Court of Justice in The Hague. Using his speech before the United Nations to make his case. His aggressive approach has angered neighboring Chile, but reaped dividends at home ahead of Sunday's elections. That issue is one of the few issues that has a completely national consensus about that. So, and Evo Morales is the leader of that consensus. So that's why he's speaking in the United Nations about that, because it brings him a lot of uh, support in the country. A country that views the president's efforts as a national priority, as its children sing of their dream for a deep blue sea for Bolivia. Lucia Newman, Al Jazeera, La Paz.